Hey everyone, this is Jay Haskamp again with Frontier Precision. Uh, we'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk today. And in this video, we are going to look at how to get your survey data and your uh, point cloud data out of Trimble software and into Civil 3D. Um, this particular example, we're just going to use a Trimble SX12, um, but as long as you have some sort of point cloud data and survey data uh, in Trimble Business Center, this process should pretty much work for, for basically everything. So what we have here is just a building scan um, with an SX12. You can see the point cloud. You can see the um, total station measurements and some um, control points and things like that. This particular data set has been um, colorized. Um, with the photos and has kind of all the stuff there. Now typically um, what I would do just being that I'm a Trimble guy is I would do all of my you know my point cloud editing and refinement and ground extractions and building extractions and all that stuff in TBC just because for me it's easier um, and I know it better and I, I, I feel it works really really well but that's not always the case with everybody else. So I'm not going to do any of that in TBC today. Um, I'm just going to show how to get this data out um, into Civil 3D. So we're gonna look at two different ways. One is um, bringing it through Recap first. Um, a lot of people we talk to like to bring everything into Recap as it's a way to, um, one, make the, make the RCP file that Civil 3D is going to require, but Recap also has some tools um, that can be used to do some different things with the point clouds. I'm not gonna go through Recap in depth, but I'll show you how to get it into there and then get it out. The other way I'm gonna show is using the the recap exporter out of TBC, and with that method you can basically um, get your RCP file right out of Business Center and, and by, bypass recap altogether and get it right into Civil 3D. So there's two different ways. The big thing I want to show in this one too is making sure that your units are set up properly. Um, a lot of people in the surveying world uh, use US Survey Foot. By default, um, Civil 3D is in international feet. So I'll show you what that looks like when you bring it in and how you have a mismatch. And then I'll show you how to also fix that. So let's get started. The first thing is going to be our exports out of Trimble Business Center. So pretty easy here. What I'm first gonna do is export out my points. Um, the way I like to do it is I like to just go into my project explorer, grab all of my points in the list here. You can see the highlight in orange. Um, for me on the screen when I pick them and then I'm going to be on the home tab and go to export And then under here I'm going to choose custom and I have an export set up for point northern easting elevation code that goes to a CSV file So I'm just going to browse to the location. I want to save it to right here and we'll just call it scan control and we'll save and export that file now, just to show I have the folders here, I just set up some, some folders to manage my data a little bit easier, but in the exports here, I now have oh, my other screen here. Now I have a simple um, CSV file with points in it. Looks like there's a point 10 in here that has nothing. Uh, we're just gonna delete that, save it, and we're good to go. All right, so back to TBC, now exporting the point cloud. So I'm gonna do two exports here, um, just to show you the two different options. So first, I'm gonna go to export, and under my point cloud tab in my export pane, I have RCP exporter. So this will be where we can bring it directly into Civil 3D. So we'll export that file out. I'm just gonna select all, and we will go back to our folder here under exports. And we have it FPI building scan RCP. We'll just leave it as that and hit save. Our ground scaling is set properly and we will export. And now that's writing our um, RCP file for um, the Autodesk product. So this is a little bit, takes a little bit to export here, but it's not too bad. Okay, that export is finished. And now I'm also going to do an LAS export. And this will allow us to show you how to bring an LAS into Recap and, uh, and then put out our RCP file for Civil 3D. So again, I'm gonna go to export, point cloud, LAS, I'll just select all again, set my path here to my exports folder. And here I've got it building, building FPI building scan.las. So we'll save. 
I've got my options here look good and we will export the LAX, LAS file. It should be a little bit faster. All right, so our work in TBC for now is, is, is finished. Um, first thing I'm going to do is show you how to bring the recap exported out of Trimble Business Center um, directly into Civil 3D. I'll do it the wrong way first to show you the units and then we'll correct the units and I'll show you the, the right way to get things to line up. So I have a Civil 3D project or Civil 3D open. I'm gonna create a new project here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna set my layer here for my control. Uh, the control traverse and I'm going to go to insert and I'm in civil 3d there we go now I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to do points from file and I'm going to go grab my file here scan control and this file is common delimited, northern easting elevation. This all looks good. I can add it to a group here, but I'm not going to for what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna hit okay. And I'll do a zoom extents and you can see uh, my points right here on the screen. All right, so these are my points from my CSV file. Now I wanna bring in uh, my recap file. So I'm gonna hit under the insert tab, I'm gonna hit attach under point cloud and I mean my exports, and you can see here's my building scan RCP. We hit open. I'm gonna leave this all here because it should all be geo-referenced already. And we'll hit okay. And our point cloud now comes into Silva 3D. Now, what we need to look at is you can see here, my control point isn't in the center. This is kind of the dead space underneath the scanner. And you can see here that it's not in the center. So if I look at some of these scan lo locations here, it's all off a little bit. And that is, um, that, that is our international feet versus uh, US feet issue, okay? So the survey was done in US feet. Civil 3D by default is international feet. So we need to change the unit settings to ensure that our data lines up properly. So I'm gonna close this drawing and create a new one. And now what we're gonna do before we start is we're gonna type in units and under our unit settings, we're gonna switch this to US survey feet, units to scale inserted content. And then I'm just gonna set my precisions and my um, angles, not that it matters, but it's just kind of drives me crazy if I don't have everything set the way I want. And now we will hit okay. And again, I'm gonna to go to my home tab and set my current layer to my, where are we, control traverse, okay. And now we will go to insert, points from file, and grab our scan control, comma delimited, looks good, and we're gonna hit okay. Zoom extents, and again, you can see our points here. All right, now let's bring in our point cloud from hitting attach, RCP, open, and okay. And now we got our point cloud, and when we zoom in, we can now see that our control points fall right in the middle of all of our um, scan positions. So you can see we've fixed our international versus US foot scaling issue, okay? Now the data is in there. Um, we have our point cloud data, what you wanna do with it, from this point on, I guess it's up to you. I will show just quickly when you select it under point cloud, now you can you know, set your point size and your colors and kind of all that, that same stuff. But you have your survey data in here, you have your point cloud data in here, and you can start, um, start drawing, okay? So now the next um, method I wanna show you, I'm just gonna close this drawing, and we will start a new drawing here again. And one more time, we're gonna check our units. Switch this to US feet. I'm not gonna worry about this because this doesn't matter. We'll just go through it. And again, we will insert our points from file. And pick our format and hit okay. 
Now this might be a scenario where maybe we don't have the RCP file, we only have the LAS file. So we need to um, use Recap to convert that LAS to the RCP so it can come into Civil 3D. So what I'm going to do is open Recap. And in here I will create a new project and we will uh, import our point cloud. And it says, where do you want to save it to? It's already going to my folder. We'll just say recap LAS import, we'll call it. Proceed. And now it says select files to import. So we're going to go to here and you can see we have our LAS that we exported out of Trimble Business Center. And we'll hit open. And I'm not going to go through all the recap uh, settings. There's a lot going on here, but you can do some different things. You can do some intensity clipping, and some different filtering, and under advanced, you have some different decimation, and you can put a target and a destination coordinate system, things like that. I don't care about that for this video. I'm just going to import my files, index my scans, and they're indexing as we speak. Okay, our scans are indexed. Now we can launch our project. And you can see in here is recap and our point cloud data is in here and there's a bunch of different visualization tools and some different um, things where you can measure distances and whatever else. It's all pretty standard stuff in terms of point clouds. What I'm more interested in is exporting out my RCP. So that's gonna be under the little home um, button here and we will go to export or you can hit control E and in here, I'll do it under exports. We'll call it exported RCP, oops, scans. And we will hit save. And we're gonna say, let's go. And we're exporting our RCP um, file from our LAS file out of recap. And this will now allow us to import it into Civil 3D and work with it in our drawing. All right, so now that the file is exported, I can open Civil 3D and I can hit attach point cloud and here you can see my exported RCP scans file and I hit open and OK and it's now uh, imported into my Civil 3D project and because my unit settings were switched to survey feed you can see um, that everything lines up in place as it should. So that's uh, two of the ways to get uh, scan data out of TBC. Personally, you can see that the export direct to RCP is probably um, the easiest way to go. But for those of you that, that aren't going through here, um, you, you can still export your survey data out of here, convert your LAS file into recap, and then get all of your data into Civil 3D, and you should be good to go. All right, so that concludes this video. Hopefully uh, you found it beneficial, and we will see you in the next one.